Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials and this is for showing guys how to build random blinking lights because I had a few of my subscribers ask me from my Fred Bear's Family Diner video if I could show you guys how to build the blinking lights. Now if you have not seen that video I'll have a link to it in the description below. Also on another note I finally got my flash drive so the download for that world should be out very shortly. Now these blinking lights are completely different from other blinking lights because they are completely random. As you can see the lights are going two came on over there and then we got all four to come on and then let's see those three came on then these two came on so as you can see this thing it's just completely random guys it does not use just a redstone clock for the actual lamps themselves so that means it's going to need a little bit more redstone for these things to work so we're going to come up here and look at the redstone and then we're going to jump into the build because it's fairly easy so right up here as you can see i have three randomizers and a redstone clock now i'm also going to show you how to turn off the redstone clock because i know that can get a little bit laggy in worlds so how these randomizers work are well for one thing they are the easiest randomizers to build all it is is a hopper on top of a dropper now inside my dropper i have a diamond block which is my stackable item and then a minecart which is my non-stackable item now of course you don't have to use these two these are the most expensive ones you could possibly use you can use a piece of sand and a let's say a wooden shovel you could use a piece of sand and wooden shovel because a wooden shovel is a non-stackable item and a piece of sand is a stackable item so when the block of diamond goes up into this hopper it will only give off a one pulse meaning the lights will not come on and when the mine card goes up there it will give off a three pulse meaning the lights will come on now i'm not going to be showing how to build this exact design right here i'm going to be showing how to make a randomizer into each individual light so you can add them to all your all your lights in your hallway or if you want it in a bedroom or something like that and also if you want to just build it straight like this i know a bunch of you can honestly just pause the video here and just follow this because it's that easy if you're wondering what that is that's just a furnace giving out an output into that comparator creating a redstone clock so to start off this build you are going to need a ceiling now i just put mine four blocks from the floor you can go ahead and make your ceiling as big or as small as you want to but this is going to be a hallway for me then you're going to go ahead and put your redstone lamps in so i'm going to go ahead and just put them one and then skip three one skip three one and then skip three one more like that all right guys so once you've gotten all your lamps put in what i want you to do is go ahead and take out your blocks you're going to be putting your redstone down on and go to the lamps and come out three blocks from the lamp so one two three just like that and a little heads up guys make sure you're doing it off the lamps that are closest to the wall so you have enough room to go ahead and put your redstone in here because you're not going to have lamps right underneath your redstone so what you do is come out three next to each individual lamp so one two three and four like i said i'm going to be doing one completely different from that one each individual lamp will have its own randomizer next take out your redstone dust and go ahead and put three pieces of redstone dust coming from this lamp over to here so one two three just like that and do it for every single one one two three one two three and one two next take out your comparators and face them towards the redstone dust go like this and face them towards the redstone dust so one two three four then behind each comparator take out a dropper make sure it's a dropper not a dispenser it will not work with a dispenser and put droppers facing upwards right behind your comparators just like that next take out your hoppers go into sneak mode and put your hopper going into the top of each individual dropper like so we are almost there i should have just skipped ahead right here and done beautiful now what you do is go into each individual hopper and dropper and go ahead and place in one stackable and one non-stackable item so i already have some wooden shovels right here so i'm gonna throw a wooden shovel in here like that and as you can see the light came on and then i'm also gonna throw in one piece of sand so boop like that and the light does not come on and now we're gonna do that to the rest of them so come right over here put a wooden shovel in or whatever you're using the light comes on then we're gonna go ahead and put in one piece of sand the light doesn't come on another time throw in the wooden shovel light comes on throw in a non-stackable item well a stackable item and the light doesn't come on and one last time throw a stackable item in there the light won't come on and throw in your wooden shovel and the light will come on so once you've gotten all your randomizers done what i want you to do is put a line right behind your randomizer so go behind any single one you really want to it doesn't matter go into sneak mode place a block here and just put one line going behind all of the randomizers just like this once you got in your line and take out your redstone dust and bring it down the whole entire line of randomizers. Next, what I'm gonna have you do is your redstone clock, and then you will be completely done. So, right here, I just put a nice little line of three, and we're gonna go ahead and put a repeater going into this block of redstone dust, and then we're gonna put a comparator behind it, and then we're gonna put a furnace behind the comparator. Go inside your furnace, place one item inside your furnace, it should activate everything, and then right over here, we're pretty much just gonna come out a few more blocks. So, one, two, three four just like that and then place two repeaters going towards your comparator this way both on four ticks delay put a piece of redstone dust behind it 
and then a piece of redstone dust in front of it and that will create your redstone clock so as you see now our lights are going on and off randomly at the bottom over here so boop they come on they go off they come on they go off beautiful now i'm going to show you a few other things because you are completely done guys but i'm going to show you how to one turn this off two turn these lights make sure these lights are always on and blinking or three make it go fast so let's do the fast one first so if you want to make this thing go a lot faster all you have to do is set these repeaters to one tick delay and as you can see the lights will start blinking a lot faster but just remember the faster they blink the more lag it will generate inside your world also if you want it to go a lot slower all you have to do is set these to four ticks delay and then just add more repeaters so if let's say you wanted to make it go super slow just bring this out over here and then let's say we want to add two more repeaters on four ticks delay like that now the blinking won't happen as often so you see the lights are off and then come on blink up oh, there we go <laughs> so you see this thing is very slow now guys it's just blinking at super slow speeds so what i normally do it at is just two repeaters on four ticks delay because one it's not too fast and two it's not too slow now if you want your lights always on and blinking instead of being always off and blinking all you have to do is just delete this redstone dust and put a torch here and now your light will always be on and it will blink off instead of blinking on and then another heads up if you want to add more lights let's say going down this chain right here all you have to do is just add a lamp right here and some redstone dust and then it will activate these two lamps instead of just this one and then of course all you have to do is just keep bringing the redstone dust going down this way activating the lamps and the same thing goes with the ones that are always off and blinking all you have to do is delete this redstone dust put a repeater going this way on one tick delay and then put a piece of redstone dust here put a lamp here and then just bring your redstone dust going all the way down to activate all the lamps so as you can see these two lamps will come on and these two lamps will go off so that's how you can extend the current next i'm going to show you a very easy way to turn on and off your lights so it doesn't keep blinking like i said the more it keeps blinking the more it's going to generate lag so if we come right over here to where we put our furnace we can go ahead and delete our furnace put a piston facing upwards with a sand block on top of it then put the furnace coming out of that sand block put your item back inside of your furnace so let's go ahead and put one piece of sand in there once again and that's literally it so now all we have to do is just send power to this piston and it will turn on and off our creation so if we go ahead and put a lever like that and send power to it as you can see it turns everything off these are all off and these ones are on because we have a redstone torch here but then when we flick it up it will start going back to its blinking motion so there you guys have it that's how you build my random blinking lights from the fred bears family diner video if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace